Hi everybody, Mitch Peacock, the play-by-play -play voice of the Manitoba Moose on moosehockey.com and TSN 1290 alongside color analyst Jim Toth. We're getting you set for the finale of a four-game homestand at MTS Centre tonight and the last game in an eight-game season series between the Moose and the Charlotte Checkers. The teams played on Saturday night at MTS Centre and Charlotte had a 1-0 lead going to the second. That's when they blew things open. And Derek Ryan and Derek Arnold scored goals 34 seconds apart. Ryan's goal coming off a turnover in the Moose end along the boards. Tough times for the Moose, but they would push back, scoring a couple goals before the end of period two. Ben Walker and Scott Kosmachuk each had goals in the final two minutes of the second period. Kosmachuk with a nice drop pass at the blue line, driving hard to the net and burying the rebound, gave the team some momentum. Yeah, but that's as close as the Moose would get. Charlotte adding three goals on their way to a 6-2 victory on the night. We had our power play opportunities in the uh, first period. Uh, lost some momentum not being able to capitalize on those. Uh, we definitely missed the piece of having Brendan Kitchen run those five on threes and the five on four. Uh, obviously a real strong push in the back half of the second. Uh, unfortunate to get scored against early in the in the third, but uh, got ourselves close uh, and had some real momentum, but, uh, but lost that in the third period. The Moose can still come away with a winning record on this homestand with a victory tonight. Let's remember the homestand began with a couple of wins against the Stockton team pushing for a playoff spot. 3-2 and 3-0 wins, Mitch, that saw the team play strong defensively, get some good goaltending, some timely scoring, and some real nice compete level from start to finish in both those games. They battled hard, no question. Now they'll battle tonight against a Charlotte team that's been tough on them this season. What do you see in this Charlotte squad pushing for a postseason berth themselves? Well, Charlotte's power play is really good, especially on the road, and they have the 10th overall penalty kill in the American Hockey League. You have to play well five on five, and if you do get some opportunities, you have to bury them tonight. Some thoughts now from the Moose dressing room. Yeah, they're a fast team. They got some pretty good D, and they break it out quick. I think uh, definitely establish a good forward check and keep them there in a little bit. Um, try to keep them away from the offense, and I think just uh, getting that second guy in and beating them to the puck rather than their forward or extra D coming in and picking it up, I think is a big thing. I think uh, there were some times when we played well, but uh, we didn't play a full 60. You know, it's hard coming down, um, coming back from a 3 nothing deficit. Um, so, you know, we've got to make sure we are off to a better start and uh, make sure, like, make sure the game's played full 60, so. You know, I think just, uh, you know, getting on the forecheck, getting pucks into their zone, get them out of our zone quick and uh, most, uh, you know, as efficient as possible. Um, I think a lot of times we're getting uh, stuck in our zone and then we're not able to have the energy to go on forecheck. So I think it's just getting the puck out clean as quick as possible and getting in hard on their forecheck. Time for a check on the Central Division standings. You see the Moose staying ahead of the Iowa Wild in the battle to avoid the cellar. Charlotte in the fifth position in the Central, but still very much in the race for that crossover spot to the Pacific Division. And look at those guys at the top. The four at the top continue to push each other down the stretch for position when the postseason rolls around. It was a tough night for the Moose on Saturday and falling to Charlotte, but it was a positive night for Scott Kosmachuk making his return to the Moose lineup. Set a new career high with his 15th goal. He now has three goals in his last four American Hockey League games and got a real boost of confidence from his call up with the Winnipeg Jets. Not just being called up, Mitch, but how well he played while he was there. He was very strong and Ben Walker's been strong in recent games for the Manitoba Moose up from Tulsa of the ECHL. Scored on Saturday night, his first in a Moose uniform and he's got a three-game point streak going into the action tonight. Enjoy the game. <laughs>